All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a custom camera path using uh, the end game dev mode. I'm also going to teach you how to load that camera path as as a scene using a JavaScript for our our uh, tutorial map. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our Vampire the Masquerade Redemption directory and we have to create before we do anything we have to create a uh, a folder called paths with an S paths and this is important if you want to actually save um, our custom camera path file um, in the uh, in the Nod SDK you can actually uh, find information about this uh, this dev mode camera control first off to initialize it we have to create a shortcut right click go to properties and in the uh, in the, the target line we put dash dev mode and apply that and to, to initialize it in game we press control P and I'm going to show you how you would do that and the controls are fully described in the uh, the documentation under creating a cutscene shows you forward backward strafe left right look around this essentially allows you to control the camera how you want to control it and with this you can also create keyframes and save those keyframes as an NCP file using the save path command in console so you need to have both console enabled and dev mode to be able to create custom camera paths so let's get started we're gonna run this uh, shortcut that we have uh, applied the console and dev mode to alright we're gonna go into multiplayer now LAN and doesn't matter what character you create and since we're making uh, this custom camera path explicitly for our new map, we have to actually load that map. This, uh, this map was created in the prior tutorials. So if you, uh, you want to follow along, you would, you would want to go back to part one of uh, the big old mapping tutorial. Alright, so once we're in game, I notice I got rid of the fog all that crap so now what we do is uh, to initialize our uh, custom path creation uh, dev mode thingy bobber we go control P and now we're able to control the camera using the was D controls and uh, the up down arrows remember you can look in the uh, the not SDK documentation for the controls. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a camera path and to do that we're going to need to create some keyframes. To create some keyframes we first set up the camera where we want the uh, first where we want the camera to be angled first and then we press spacebar and notice we'll, if we did it right we'll get uh, an appended keyframe and a number in the console display. And this is why I'm keeping the GUI up so I can uh, so I can see what I'm doing down there. So if we want to create a moving camera we would move the camera around to the next angle and what 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 it's going to do is uh, since our last uh, point is over here it's going to slowly move its way up to our current position and angle So what we do now is we create spacebar again, and we just create another keyframe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a flyover camera. Here, I'm going to try to move us up a little more. I'm going to create another keyframe here. I'm going to move over so we can fly over the fly over the roof. I'm going to create another one there. Move down, fly over here, and then we're gonna go straight. 
straight down. Over there, and I'm gonna strap the side. I created five. I created five keyframes so far. Notice you gotta keep the. Uh, you have to keep the. Uh, the cursor in the 3D world, or you're not gonna be able to move around. See when I move when I move around in Straff and I'm holding down the button. If I move, see if I move the mouse out of the the 3D world, you can't move the uh, you can't move the camera. See that? See that? So it has to be out there. It has to be out in the world for it to, for you to be able to move the camera around. Just in case you're having trouble moving the camera, yeah, you got to make sure your cursor's out there. So I'm gonna move this over here. Create another keyframe. I'm gonna end it. Create another keyframe over there. I'm gonna end this with a uh, with a by. Notice that while you're in this uh, mode, you can actually move your character around. Something to think about if you're. Uh, play around with uh, this camera mode especially for you Signo if you want to do some cool camera angles with your Steven Seagal movie you may want to consider trying this out just FYI alright so when we're done creating our uh, keyframes um, we are ready to save, so we have to get out of this mode to be able to save the uh, key, save our keyframes. So press Control P again, and that gets us out of here. And now we go into console and we type in Save Path, and then the name of the path. I'm going to call mine My Map Intro Dot. NCP. You gotta make sure it has the dot NCP at the end. And then you press enter. And if all went well, it'll go right path to paths, my path. If you didn't create this paths directory, um, you would get an error saying that it failed the right path. So that's why you have to create that folder first. So now that we're done creating our NCP file with our moving camera, um, we're gonna move on to creating a script that will do this camera fly through when we first load the map. So let's get started on that. So it's time to exit the game. 